The labels just made you sit through two ads, so support the habit. Enjoy the video. Do it. And finally, tensions flared in the Middle East when an Israeli vehicle crashed into a Palestinian refugee camp near the West Bank, killing four workers. Experts are hoping this will not harm peace talks and that we will soon see the area stabilize. This has been 94.9 CHRW News for December 7th, 1987. Up next, it's Axel Buckley. <laughs> hey, whoa, hello everyone, it's the Axe Man coming at you live from the University of Western Ontario. Yeah, I haven't been kicked out yet. And normally, this is a time where I play you some rad rock, some killer tunage, you know. But, you know what grinds the old Axel's gears? This junk that passes for popular music. The bogus bowl that those other stations play. You know, my sister puts on in her car when she drives me to school while I, you know, wait to get my license back. So, I thought, you know what? It's the end of the year. I got a radio show. I'm going to tell everyone what I think the worst songs of this year were. So, I picked five songs. I didn't want to torture you with any more than that. So, let's get to it with number five. This is the Bangles, Walk Like an Egyptian. Dude, I was leafing through the latest issue of Billboard. This was the number one song of the year. Like, did the people that make these lists even hear about this new band, Guns N' Roses? These chicks are doing some sort of mummy dance while going, way oh way oh That's the biggest song of the year? Hey, bangles. Steve Martin called. He said he did this on Saturday Night Live when I was like 13, and it wasn't funny then. Like, this is the only reason I'm making this song number five. Listen to this part. <laughs> yeah, that part's good. Making fun of the pigs, spending all day scarfing donuts. And like, they're kind of hot, you know? I'd bangle like at least three of them, if you know what I mean. So, that's number five. My fourth worst song of the year is Whitney Houston, I Wanna Dance With Somebody. So, go dance with somebody. <laughs> Jeez, I go to clubs, sometimes my buddy Pete's like, hey, let's go try to get some trim, you know? And uh, we do all right. Uh, okay, we get rejected all the time, whatever. But, I'll tell you this for free, I've never seen a chick not be able to get someone to dance with her. Even the 130 dirties do okay. Oh, oh, but it's not good enough to find just anybody. Let's hear how that line ends. As my great uncle Art would have said, kind of sounds like you're putting the cart before the horse there, lady. Guys already got to be saying the L word to you before you'll dance with them? No wonder you're having so much trouble. The dance floor is where you take a girl for a test drive. It's not where you sign the pink slips, you know? Anyway, this song's so repetitive. She says she wants to dance with somebody like a dozen times, and then I guess she's struggling, so it ends with her basically begging. <laughs> Anyway, whatever. Hey, hopefully this chick meets someone who will treat her right, you know? Because she sounds a little desperate. Like she's just going to end up with the first skid she can get to tango with her. Next thing you know, she goes from making hits to taking them. Then she regrets ever asking to dance, you know? All right, you know what I regret? Here in number three on my list. It's Tiffany, I Think We're Alone Now. I think we're <laughs> Whoa, is this chick a detective? If there's no one else around, then yeah, you're alone. Nice job, Nancy Drew. Now, I don't want you guys giving me any grief over this one. Yeah, I know, she's like, what, 16? At least, that's what I read in Tiger Beat. Not that, like, I read Tiger Beat, okay? My stupid sister had it in the car. Whatever, man. Anyway, she's getting paid, like, what, thousands of dollars? Then she could take a little criticism. So, you guys are, what, just sitting there in absolute silence, taking each other's pulses? What's wrong with this dude? Cause like, man, when I was 16 and alone with a chick, I gotta tell ya, we were making all sorts of sounds. I mean, you know, if I had been alone with a chick when I was 16, but 
Just like that Whitney song, that part I just played for you is basically the whole song. They just repeat that over and over and over. Seriously, why is music getting so repetitive these days? I guess Gen X kids are too stupid to remember more than 10 words or something. It's like the song was made for TikTok. You know, the sound the clock makes when your 15 minutes of fame are almost up. Archie did all her concerts at malls, which is great because when her music career's over, she'll be able to tell her new employer that she already has experience working at the food court. Okay, my second worst song of the year, it's... What the... What is this? Ah, oh, I think someone put an extra tape in my pile. <laughs> very funny, guys. Great joke. I don't even know what that song is. Yeah, you really got me. No, my second worst song of the year is... You too. I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Yeah, if what you're looking for is a good song, you're right, you two. You still haven't found it. And I don't think you ever will. But I guess in the interest of fairness, we had a girl fawning over a guy, and now I think this song's about a guy being pathetic over a woman. Like, check this out. Dude, if you can't just buy her a pack of Marlboros and a ticket to Motley Crue, she ain't worth more effort than that. Like, four guys died last year trying to climb Everest, and you're out here doing it for some tail? Man, even I'm not that hard up. Anyway, I hate Bono's whiny voice. The Edge can F right off with the 300 things he attaches to his guitar to make it sound different. I wouldn't listen to these guys even if they somehow forced their music into my boombox. And finally, my worst song of 1987 is actually two songs. First, a remake of that horrible disco song Funky Town by a band called Pseudo Echo. And a remake of that sappy Bill Withers song from the 70s, Lean On Me, by someone called Club Nouveau. Lean Okay, so, Funky Town, they just traded one horrible fad for another. Disco for synthesizers. Now everyone wants their music to sound like it's coming out of R2-D2's exhaust port. Guys, the only cool robot is Robocop. And only because he shot that guy in the wiener. But yeah, dude, I'll take you to a Funky Town. We just need to make a quick stop at the nearest quarry so I can toss all your gear in there so you never make music again. And as for Lean On Me... It's just so lame already. There's a lyric about carrying some guy's load. <laughs> load. But it's not even their song. They just like, what, made it faster and put one of those fake drum sounds on it? Like, is this what all music's gonna be now? Fake instruments, the same lyrics said over and over, and nothing original, just people copying other people's music? Seriously, half the songs I mentioned here today were written like 10, 20 years ago, and the other was just a rip-off of an old SNL skit that people only like because of the stupid dance everyone does with it. And these were all on Billboard's list of the top songs of the year. I guess that's just what the 80s will be known for. Unoriginal music and silly dances. Alright, I gotta play some PSAs, and then after that, I got some Motley Crue, some Aerosmith, Billy Idol, Def Leppard, and you know I'm playing that new Guns N' Roses, because... This teeny bopper, disco, and new wave junk are all fads. The rock and roll never dies! 